Hey guys, this is Washi4 from uh, Mossy Cobble Productions, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to run a vanilla server on Mac OS X. So, first, of course, you need to go to Minecraft.net and download the .jar for the server. You just do so by clicking on the download button and scrolling all the way down. You'll see it right here. If you're on Windows, you click here, but this is for Mac, so. You also want to copy this right here. You can cut off if you want the GUI, which is the guided user interface. If you don't want it, you just continue to copy past that. I use it. I think it's cool. So I would copy this, download that, which I already have, create a folder for your uh, server, and these are a bunch of my worlds. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to have just this. This is going to be the only thing in here. And you're going to want to go into Terminal, which is right around here, and go CD space, and then drag this folder in. Press Enter, and you'll now have, if you press LS, you'll see everything in this folder. You'll only see this right here. So you want to now take the launch uh, command, which was on minecraft.net and you want to go to terminal and enter that in and it'll run some stuff you'll get a bunch of errors it won't do this it won't be nice and clean because it's the first time it'll say it doesn't can't find a bunch of files just hit stop uh... it'll take a long time also because it'll be creating the world and then you want to go into this server.properties if it doesn't know how to open it just use text edit pretty much does it or any other text editor should work. Uh, you want your world name, whether or not you want nether, how far you can see, uh, whether or not you want monsters, if you want um, players to be double checked with the Minecraft.net servers so that people have to have actual Minecraft accounts to play, you want to put this on true. If you put it on false, it will run a little bit like faster when you log in, It won't because it won't have to check with the Minecraft servers. And if the Minecraft servers are down, you can still play. However, people with uh, fake accounts can access your server, like can play on it, because they're not being checked. Uh, whether or not you want to spawn animals, max players, leave this blank, that will get automatic PvP, true, true or false, level seed, if you want to level seed, leave a blank for random, server port, you can touch this if you want, if you don't know what it does, just leave it as 25565, that's the default port for uh, Minecraft. Allow flight. So if you put this as false, it will not allow flight. It will kick users if they have too many moving violations. This is what happens if when they fly too much. And whitelist. If you have the whitelist on true, then if you go into the whitelist.txt, only players on this list can enter your server. So now that you have all this, if you want to be an op, you can do either... So if you get this run, you just go in here, you type op, and then your username, so Walsh4. Um, you can say op and Walsh4 in game, it's say you are now op. You can then, from in game, type in like op other players, like Mr. Paintball. Uh, he's already op, so it doesn't really matter. Um, if you type help in game, you'll get this messy list that doesn't fit. It gets cut off like here. But pretty much that's how. These are all the commands. They're not very good. That's why people use Bucket. I'm hoping they put some serious work in on this because right now vanilla kind of sucks. So just press stop, shuts down, and quit out of terminal. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll be posting another video for how to run a Bucket server. But oh, wait, I forgot one thing. If you have a uh, plug and play router like I do, or if you don't know, you want to check out this application called um, Portmap. Oh god. Portmap. What it does is it forwards ports for you, so when you first open it, there'll be nothing here. You'll click this little plus button, you'll say 25565 name uh, Minecraft server uh, add mapping, and it'll add it and this will switch on. It'll turn green, 
and that means your port is open. If you don't have a port open, only people on your local network will be able to play with you. So if you want people from other IPs to be able to play with you, you have to open a port. So when you do this, it'll so you, sometimes usually it'll say like network address. If you want to know your IP, you can go to uh, you can use what this little tool right here, iStat menus, uh, gives you my, my IP. Um, or you can go to uh, can I has IP dot I think it's com. Yep, and it tells you your IP. So yeah, there's a simpler version, which is just this. So yeah. That's pretty much all you need to know about setting up a server. Um, basically, if you get a vanilla server, which is what this is, um, then you won't be able to have plugins. So only like client side mods will be able to be used, like flying and other Zoms mod things like, uh, like X-ray and stuff like that. If you get a bucket server, however, it's a little bit harder to manage. You need to know a little more about what you're doing, but you can use some really cool stuff out there. If you want to check it out, you can go to uh, bucket. Oh no, no way. Bucket.org. Get this cool thing. Click on Get Craft Bucket, and it'll tell you everything you need to know about your operating system and running Bucket. Or well, actually, right now it's called Craft Bucket. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it, and enjoy your servers.